okay so hello everyone so today we are going to implement a simple example of a pseudo and mos logic so let's implement let us implement a nand gate so for nand gate we have to write y is equal to a b the whole bar a dot b the whole bar using pseudo and mos logic so the funda over here is uh, let me draw the general structure for a pseudo and mos logic so a pseudo and mos logic will look something like this the general structure so as a pull up network you have just a, a pmos transistor whose gate terminal is grounded and this has been connected to vdd and in the pull down network you have your general structure okay your pull down network which will be consisting of your uh, this is i1 i2 number of inputs okay and here we have the output so your pull down network consists of your pn mos transistors so this is the general structure of a pseudo and mos logic okay so this is the general structure for pseudo and mos logic okay now let's use this concept and build a nand gate so if you want to implement y is equal to a dot b we will always start with uh, first of all we will design the pull down network okay so we'll design the pull down network so that is we will implement it using the equation a dot b so we'll design the pull down network with two and more transistors in uh, in series with the input a and b and next we build up on the pull up network so your pull up network will consist of a single pmos transistor pmos transistor with gate grounded okay uh, we uh, pull up network will consist of a single pmos transistor with gate grounded so let us try to implement this now okay so let me take the color as uh, let's say red okay and first draw the pull up network so this is my pull up network okay the gate will be grounded this indicates that the pmos transistor is always in the on state okay so this is your vdd and let's now draw the pull down network so pull down network is nothing but a dot b so it will be your let me use a color uh, let's say uh, blue so for the pull up for the pull down network we have a dot b that is two transistors will be in series so we will draw like this so these are the two transistors in series a and b and here it is and the output will take it from here so this is my y is equal to a dot b the whole bar okay so this is the implementation of two input nand gate using pseudo and mos logic now what is the transistor count over here uh, we require so the transistor count over here is 3 okay we require two transistors for the pull down network and one transistor for the pull up network so if you have a two inputs how many transistors are required if you have n inputs if you have n inputs how many transistors are required over here n plus 1 okay for example in this case you require you have two inputs so how many transistors you require three transistors okay so in general for n inputs in case of pseudo and mos logic you require n plus 1 transistors okay as in this case there were two inputs a and b and we require a total of three transistors okay so that's how we implement uh, a nand gate a two input nand gate using pseudo and mos logic so that's it for this session next time we'll start with some other example using pseudo and mos logic so until then have a good day and thank you